Hi everybody, welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. Well, it's very, very hot. It is the dog days of summer and we get a lot of people who come in the shop and they're worried about stopping their feeding. They, they, they are going on a long vacation or uh, it's just getting harder to keep the seed dry and bug free. And uh, it, of course, they the birds are slower and they ask the questions like, well, do I, if I stop feeding in summer, it, it, are the birds going to be harmed in any way? Um, way? And if I start feeding back in the fall, how long will it take them to, to find my feeders again? And just overall concern. So we're going to talk about that and I'm going to help you with some advice to, to bridge uh, maybe that, uh, that break in the late summer and, and, it, and when the fall season starts again, how you can maybe speed things up. First off, bird, what is happening right now in the bird world? Well, it's hot. And so, and most of them have had multiple clutches of young and they're the, the birds you're seeing at your feeders and, and taking over your feeders like in my house are mainly the young birds. Well, those young birds need to learn how to eat natural seed as well. So I know the adults are bringing them in because it's really easy. Well, they definitely need to learn to eat natural seeds. And they will be just fine if you have to stop feeding. Keep them attached to your yard and you can feel more comfortable about not feeding bird seed uh, with, through your feeders and things if you do some simple things. And of course, you know me, if you watch me regularly, you know I'm going to talk about water. So let's add this here. That nice red-shouldered hawk clip, he's coming in, he's going to bathe there. He's also going to look for a frog or a crayfish that might be in the water. But your bird bath, keep your bird bath going all summer. Water is key to survival in hot weather. And providing that reliable source is more important than your feeders. So keeping a, a moving source of water, uh, like with a water wiggler or a bubbler or a fountain, if you can provide those, that's even better. But maintain it, re rotate it, keep it fresh. So bird baths are so important to them. And of course, native landscaping. You want to add berry producing plants because remember late summer, we're getting ready to get into nature's bounty. As we say, a lot of the, the, the fruits that are out there on the dogwoods and the, the poison ivy berries and cedar bushes and, and uh, wild grapes, those things are getting ready to ripen up. And your feeders are going to slow down. We call it the September slowdown anyways, because these natural food sources really kick uh, us bird feeders in the you know, rear in, in September and October. And those are ripening up already. And, and native seeds like uh, grasses and things, there's so many things that if you have landscaped with these native vegetations it's like this american beauty berry what a what a beautiful plant and the birds love them and if you've landscaped with them oh uh purple coneflower right now the goldfinches are eating at that more than they're eating at feeders it, it, that, that that starts to kick in and if you've landscaped and you've planned or you live near pastures or or, or feet weedy field edges where a lot of these natural foods grow, those birds are going to take advantage of that and they'll be fine without your bird feeders. Well, it, it, of course, the other benefit is the insects because they're going to feed on those native plants and the birds are going to continue to eat those uh, insects as long as they can, right up until, uh, you know, they leave either on migration or the, or the bugs uh, of course, get killed by frost and freezing, and there's no more for them. So the, remember, if you've landscaped well, if you've got trees, you've got shrubs, you've got insects, and the birds are going to be eating on that, and they'll stay in your yard eating those things. And once you have on their feeding route, if you have bird feeders, and they work around. I always tell Melanie that our bird feeders are just one stop on a cycle that birds run, several different birds, and they keep coming back. They keep coming back and checking on places they've had food before. And it's, when if you take a break and you start putting your feeders out again, believe me, they're out there and they will come along. So if you want to 
put out some things during this period that may last longer for you, uh, but you so you don't have to change it regularly. Uh, they may keep them around. You can try things like the never melt suets, the summer real doughy formula suets. They won't melt and they won't go bad in your feeders. And, you know, I did a whole program on seed cylinders and seed blocks. Uh, they last a long time. And so it's like those little things I used to put in my fish tank when I was going to be gone for a while so that my fish would have a, a kind of a food source there to peck on while I was gone. Same thing with these. You know, they these these uh, held together with pectin and they last longer and they will help you bridge a gap between you know, the time you're gone. And, uh, and, and, and of course, uh, people are worried about their hummingbirds. Now, we always talked about landscaping, but, you know, my advice, if you're going to be on vacation for a week or two, you're going to, and yeah, I prefer you to take your hummingbird feeders down, clean them up, and hang them back out empty. That way, if that hummingbird comes along, you got flowers to feed on, but he comes to your hummingbird feeder, he just thinks that flower has no nectar in it. So as soon as you get back, put the nectar back in it and he's going to come back around and check on it. I can, I can tell you that for sure. So it, there's a lot of things going on in summer and you don't have to worry about that. You know, you're not feeding them, uh, hurting the birds. There's lots of food available this time of year. Water's the key. Make sure you keep a clean source of water out there uh, and know that, you know, the, the feeders are going to naturally get slow in a little while anyways, because that's just what happens every year. So when they come back in the fall, when you put your feeders out, it may take a little bit. And it's not because you you stop feeding as much as it is that there's just natural food available that time of year. The seeds and the berries, all that's really coming in. And we say that really until we get that first good frost and freeze in the fall, that's when they'll find you. They'll be right back. They'll be hitting your feeders and then they'll be business as normal. Uh, say it's starting in, oh, mid-October, late October, November, depending upon what part of the country you're watching me from. So it'll kick back in. So you can stop feeding birds for a while if you need to. I know most of you don't, 365 days a year like I do. But if you have to, don't feel guilty because the birds will be just fine without you. And they'll find you again in the fall. So that's a really good idea for a program. If you like these programs, you know, give us a like, give us a share. I, I load up a lot of it on this channel. You know, you can search. Always look in the description below for links that uh, I mentioned and even product links, you know, for uh, different things I may have mentioned in the video. So if you like them, please give us a like, give us a share. Until next time, let's talk birds.